What's up guys, welcome back to Nick's Fishing. It's early, I'm out here with Bo. We're just doing a little bit of tight water fishing from the bank right now and um, I don't know if you can tell, that's a 2.93 pound bass. Bo just caught almost a five pounder. I'm gonna put a picture in. So guys, we got here early just so we could do a little bit of tight water fishing and for two fish, we already have nearly seven pounds. So that is awesome. Here in a minute, we're gonna put the kayaks in, but for now, I'm gonna fish out the bank a little bit. I'll let you know if I catch one. But if not, I'll just see you in the kayaks. Sure. Well, What a tiny bite, guys. That was like a half pound bass, probably. I can't believe something that small would even think about hitting it. That was a tiny bite. That's my second bite of the day. First bite since I've been in the kayak. So, I mean, that's kind of a good sign. We're just looking for something a lot bigger than that fish was. Maybe we'll get one pretty soon. Bait fish just stirred right there. My buzz bait's about to come right by. God, there's got to be some bass around, guys. And this spot looks so good. I caught some here the other day. That was crazy, guys. I worked so hard for that fish. Ah, golly, he's so aggressive. I told you there would be one sitting there, guys. I literally knew it. There's no way a fish wasn't going to be sitting there. But he barely just came up and snipped at it, though. I didn't think I was going to get a hook at him. He got it in his mouth, though. I don't know how. Where there's one fish, maybe there's some more. Stay tuned. Oh, got one. Tiny. Golly, get in the boat. Let me back up off the spot, guys. Oh, guys, they're busting everywhere. This guy got both hooks in it, the normal hook and the trailer hook. I came up here, this is like the shallowest part of the pond, and there's several fish sitting over here. There's fish number three of the day. God, why is that fish so aggressive, guys? Please tell me those other ones are gonna bite too. If so, this will be sick. Perfect cast. Come on, baby. You're kidding. How are they not going to bite after they were being so aggressive? God, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. The fish literally, literally jumped out of the water right behind me. And I just went by there. Like, he almost jumped in my kayak. Oh, he's getting caught now. He messed up. He messed up. He does not know who he's messing with. Watch this, guys. Just you wait. Try to get this grass off my hook. Oh, it's on now, fish. You done? You done messed up. 
definitely make sure the camera looks good. It's kind of bright because the sun's out now, but um, watch this. Oh, there he is. Got him. <laughs> yes, sir. Get in the boat. <sighs> Told you guys, he messed up. He literally jumps right behind Nick's fishing boat and thinks that he's not gonna get caught up. That, that was so dumb of him. He choked it too, just on the swim bait. Hit it right by the kayak. <sighs> Little guy, he's like half a pound, but he had an appetite. I mean, look at the size of the bait he hit. That's no small swim bait, guys. I'm not exactly sure how big it is. I think it's like five inch, five and a quarter or something. But for a swim bait, I mean, that's, that's pretty big. Might even be a six inch. All right, guys, caught that fish, so now let's just keep going around the pond. I appreciate the free catch from that fish right there. That was pretty nice. Alright guys, we're coming up on a pretty good lay down tree right here. It's caught plenty of fish in the past. Neither me or both got a bite on it today, but I mean look at it. That looks pretty good. Good structure for bass to be hanging out in. Let's see if they want the swim bait up there by it. Ah, not a good cast. That was so loud. Not very stealthy. I can't say that's the best cast I've made. That's a little bit better. This is a big bait. Come on. I knew it, guys. I knew it. That looked too good not to have a fish on. Not very big. He's, he might be a pound. I mean, he's pretty chunky. He wanted the swim bait, I'll tell you that. He crushed it, guys. There might be some more sitting there, too. Yeah, he's probably not a pound. He's probably like three quarters of a pound. Not an awful fish, though. Second fish on a swim bait, and I believe fifth fish overall. So not too shabby. We've only been fishing for an hour, guys, so not too bad. Probably been fishing for a little bit under an hour, but decent morning. I've caught five, both caught at least three, so that's eight fish. So yeah, eight fish in about an hour, that's not too, too bad. Oh, I got one. He's tiny, guys. Well, not like the other one. Golly, it's not that small. <laughs> That's the best one of the day that I've got on camera. Yeah. Yeah, that's a decent fish. There we go, guys. He's probably about one right out of town. I caught that almost three pounder at the very beginning whenever we started fishing, but since then, this is the biggest fish I've caught. That's pretty sad, because he's not big, but I mean, he was fat. He was a healthy fish, and one just stirred up there. I was thinking the trick worm wasn't gonna work and that they were just wanting a moving bait or something, but I might be in a good spot for it now. Let's get back out there. See if another one wants it. That's fish number six for me. I believe both caught seven. So he kind of left me there for a minute. Let's try to catch back up. Got him. Golly, guys. What a dink. I couldn't even tell if you... Yeah. 
I could not even tell if he had it, guys. I didn't even think he was a fish. He hit it so softly. I mean, I waited forever, but about, God, look you guys. These fish are so crazy. He's about half a pound, but I mean, fish number seven, me and Bo are tied up. That's 14 fish between the both of us. That's pretty good, guys. We have not been fishing for long. Best day we've had in a pretty good while. The bite's been slow here lately where I live, but now that the fall's coming around, it's getting a little bit cooler, the bite's starting to pick up a little bit. And hopefully we can catch about 10 fish each at least. And we might catch more. It's looking like a pretty good day, guys. Stay tuned. Right there, guys. He messed up. These fish are stupid stirring right beside me. I mean, it's like a guaranteed catch. I mean, jumping right beside Nick's fish and showing me exactly where you are. And I'm throwing a fluke. Yeah, he messed up too. I knew it. I told you. <sighs> You're kidding. Uh, it's the second fish that stirred right beside me. Second fish I've got to bite. I just couldn't connect with that one. He hit it right on the top of the lure. I had him on. Flutes are just weird, guys. It's hard to tell whenever they bite because you're just popping your rod and then you just feel weight. It's a weird thing to fish with. That would have been fish number eight. Dang. He was tiny. At least I know they will eat the flute. Guys, I was working it and I had a bite, but like I kind of set the hook and he missed it, so I was reeling it back in and this guy crushed it. I'm gonna say he's one and a half, maybe maybe one and three quarters. I thought he was about two, two and a half at first. I'm just gonna get the weight just because I'm curious. All right, pounds and ounces. I'll show you guys. One pound, 15 ounces. So basically a two pounder. Not too bad of a fish, guys. On the fluke, too. Dang, that was a fun bite. If they keep biting the fluke like this, I might become a guy who likes to fish with flukes. But um, I'm just gonna fix the fluke back up. Just rig it back. I'm gonna keep on casting. That's number eight or nine for me. Y'all guys know, because y'all been watching the video, but I'm not sure. I'm about to see how many boats caught. I think he's probably caught eight or nine as well. This might be a 20 fish day between the both of us. This is, this is pretty awesome, guys. The morning bite is definitely where it's at. Munched under the dock. No. Guys, I casted way up under the dock, and the second it hit the water, this guy was on it. Golly. There might be more under there. I get a, little, a lot of slack in there and just throw a little up under there like that. There we go, guys. Probably the smallest fish of the day. That was a crazy bite. Did you, did you hear it? Like, literally, whenever it hit the surface of the water, he hit it. Yeah. 
Well, guys, it seems like I'm just making it a habit of not filming outros because this is the second or third video in a row where I have to come home and film an outro because I didn't do it on the water. But anyways, guys, that was a super awesome day. I caught nine fish, Bo caught eight fish, so not quite 20, but that was just because we didn't stay longer. I mean, Bo was getting kind of tired. Our butts and our backs were hurting from sitting in the kayak. So if we would have stayed longer, I'm sure we could have easily caught 20 fish. But I mean, hey, Bo caught a big one early in the morning. I caught a pretty big one. I'm sorry I wasn't filming. It was just because we were fishing off the bank and I didn't really feel like setting the trap out up and stuff. But we ended up waking up at like 6.40 for this video, guys. So that's hardcore, waking up at 6.40 on a weekend i mean for me that's extremely extremely early so guys i really do hope you enjoyed the video it was super fun to make me and both caught some nice fish so if you liked it just go ahead and drop a like down below and hit that subscribe button because that would really help me out a lot so anyways guys thank you for watching i'll see you in next week's video bye